Hello, my name is Wade Nomura, and this is Rotary and Serving Our Community. One thing that Rotary does and, and does well, but could do better, is to try and engage the youth in our communities. And one of the ways we do that is through a program what is called Interact. Interact is a group of high school students that actually are mentored through and assisted in Rotary and, and looked over by Rotary uh, itself. And with us today, we have Maria Zamora. Welcome, Maria. Welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. You are the Interact president? Yes, currently. I am. Great, great. Well, thank you for joining us. And we have uh, Richard Campos, past president of Carpinteria Rotary. Yes. Well, thanks for joining us. My both pleasure. Of you. My pleasure. We're going to start with you there, Maria. Tell us a little bit about yourself. So I've been involved in um, Interact since my freshman year. Uh, not only have I been involved in Interact, but I'm also a part of the Junior State of America, oh, wow. JSA, and I am currently the um, president of that club as well. <laughs> and um, this year I am co-president, uh, co-drum major in my school's um, band. And um, I'm also involved in like community service. I take high classes. And this year I was um, on the varsity tennis team for the Carpentry High School, wow. for Carpentry High School. And we recently, just yesterday, came back from a tournament, a tournament TVL. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. great, great. How'd you do there? Um, we got <laughs> to the first round. We pa we passed the first round. Oh, good, um, good. Yeah. Well, sounds great. Uh, sounds like you're fairly active in everything. Then <laughs> yeah. good for you. Uh, Richard, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, I'm a current resident of Ventura, uh, and I'm a State Farm agent in Carpinteria. Okay. So that's what I do as a profession. Okay. Um, how about background, things like that? Uh, well, uh, you know, I've been in the insurance industry for the last 26 years, so it's pri uh, pretty much uh, work and rotary. <laughs> now, um, I know for a fact, since we're talking Interact, give us a little history in your high school background. I know you're a ball player. Uh, I was. I actually played uh, football at Santa Clara High School. Right, right. So it's kind of ironic to come back to uh, Carpinteria and be so involved in the high school. <laughs> good, good. And Rotary, how did you get involved with Rotary? Um, I was approached by a, uh, a Rotarian, uh, Tom Laguerre, who was actually a state farm agent in another state. Uh, I thought that it would be a good fit, and uh, he was right. Oh, okay. So he was with uh, State Farm before? Uh, he was. Never knew that. Yes, and another, yeah. no, you, uh, I think it was in Denver. In Denver. Yeah. Correct. So, uh, Park City. Park City. Park U City, Utah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I knew it was we'll, somewhere we'll give cold. a little plug on that one. <laughs> somewhere cold. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, well, thank you. And how about you? What got you involved with uh, Interact? I remember um, it was my freshman year, and I was best friends with Anna Delgado, one of our um, Interact um, members. And she was talking to me about her sister. Her older sister was actually um, president of Interact when she was in high school. So she was saying, I really want to be involved in Interact. And I said, oh, I don't really know. I've never heard of this club on campus. <laughs> and she just kind of went, and I said, OK, I'll go along too. And I just stayed ever since then. <laughs> wow, good. Um, you've been in there for four years now, yes. correct? Mm -hmm. You started as a freshman. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, did you ever have any idea you'd be the president of that? No, I never thought. I last year when I became vice president, I just thought that was just incredible because I never knew I was going to be anything more than just a member and interact. And what size is the club? How many members do you As have? As of right now, I'm pretty sure we're around like 30 students. Wow. Um, we fill a whole classroom. There's a couple of people on the floor because there's just not that many um, um, desks. So <laughs> I think that's great, but that I great. not for the students that sit on the floor. But <laughs> yeah, this, this is true, but boy, that's a good problem to have. Yeah, it's <laughs> great. Now, um, have you noticed, has the number gone up? Has it gone down? I feel, like, pretty consistent? I feel like it has gone up gone. and I feel the more active members has gotten up as well. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. very, very good. Now, do the members have kind of the same background as you? In other words, are they uh, driven, I would say, <laughs> with all those good things you do? Um, I believe so. They're, um, of course, different, like, activities on campus, but all revolve around the same goal of wanting to help the community. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Very good. So um, as you go through it, what, are, what is the um, schedule that you do for Interact? Is it once once a month, once a week? Once a, w once a week on Tuesdays during lunch. Okay, during lunch. Mm -hmm. And you eat lunch, is it a working meeting then? Um, I don't eat lunch, but they oh. do. <laughs> <laughs> no time, I know. <laughs> Sounds like you're busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so... Um, 45 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that? Yeah, about 25 minutes. About 25 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Both the class. So squeeze, it, squeeze it tight then. We do. It's wow. pretty tight, yeah. Yeah. Now, how about events, things like that? Do you do once a month, once a quarter events, programs? Uh, primarily what we try to do is depending on uh, what we have on the calendar. Uh, in some cases, we are uh, able to coordinate with a rotary event. Uh, so we always try to show us show us the support. 
but we've started some of our own activities as well, too. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you this first. What are some of the challenges you've had? I know you've been with the, this group for quite a while, uh, Interact, and I know there's, I've heard other challenges um, logistic-wise with schools. And yeah, like that. Um, I, I think primarily the uh, is just trying to keep the kids engaged. Uh, they're very active. They want to do uh, something for the community, and it's just trying to fit it in, quite frankly, in their schedule. Many of them are uh, like Maria, where they're uh, doing many different activities, and uh, it's just trying to uh, be able to get a, a, a young adult uh, into an environment where they can get to a place on time right. uh, based on their schedule, which is important because I try to acclimate to that. Right, right. Um, weekend events, do you plan on those very often or as, as few as possible? Uh, actually, we've had some luck based on Rotary. You know, we were part of the, uh, we helped out with the Carpinteria Triathlon, which was on a Sunday. And uh, we also helped out with the Avocado Festival, which was over a three-day weekend. That's right, yeah. So uh, weekends are primarily, actually, when we do a lot of our activities. Okay, oh, good, weekends, good, yeah. okay. Um, and then as far as school involvement, engagement there, since you're not on faculty, not on staff, how do you work around that? Do you have a spe uh, specific staff to work with you? Uh, absolutely. In fact, I work with Christine Gilbert, who's okay. an English teacher on CAP, and she's actually our uh, carpenter teacher advisor. Okay. Uh, I check in with the high school. They know I'm coming every Tuesday. Uh, and uh, I basically, I, I do uh, get a vis visitor's pass, right, so right. I just don't walk in, but I work sure. well with Christine, thankfully. Okay, good, good. And she gives you full support, then the school does. She, Otherwise, you wouldn't have the success you've had. She does, yes. Good. The school's been very supportive. Okay, good. And how about you, uh, Interact? What are the challenges you've seen and face as a president? Uh, Not to put you on the spot. <laughs> um, I think the biggest... Um, problem I think I've had, um, not only with Interact, but also with JSA, is trying to um, distribute responsibilities within our cabinet members. So our vice president, secretary, and treasurer, I don't really know how to give them that more of a like standing out because I do realize that this is my last year here. So yeah. they're, all three of them are juniors as well. So somebody's going to want that president spot. So I want to give them a fair chance of getting that, of showing out and saying, you know, when they're running, like, I should be president because of this. Okay. And I want to make it fair for them, and I want to still have the club thrive. Now, uh, were you giving guidance as far as something written, a, a job description or anything like that, or did you have to kind of just see how you fit into the system? So, uh, last year, I remember we got a job description okay. where Good. it was kind of like, this is a president's responsibility and um, all of the other cabinet members' responsibility. So I've kind of been going off of that, but also both... Um, just the changes I wanted to see and in, interact and some of the things I wanted to implement. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. What are some of those? So I've been, uh, one of the biggest projects that I want to work on is a, com a community service project mm -hmm. and that's going to be um, like a letter to Santa to the Head Start in our community in Carpinteria. So, you know, picking like a class and picking a handful of students and having them write letters to us and of their um, toys because, you know, Head Start, it's low income. Right, right. So I wouldn't expect them to be really celebrating that. So um, I wanted to help them out in that way. And me believing that, you know, having a childhood shouldn't come with financial obstacles. Right, right. So I, that's one of the biggest projects that I want to work on. Now, how are you funding that or financing that? So we actually got a matching grant from the parent support group. Nice. So um, for every, so for, it's a $250 grant, a uh, matching grant. So for every dollar, they match that dollar. And we're going to be making a fundraiser with the Breast Cancer Research um, Resource Center, which is, um, we're going to be trying to um, like have a bake sale this Friday um, at our football game wow. to get that money. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you realize there's probably money out there through Rotary, too, yes. to help out yes, with that one. Yes, <laughs> and, I, and I will be uh, looking forward to trying to <laughs> uh, see if there's something that they can do to help out with that. We've been pretty fortunate in that respect over the years of trying to raise money sure. and leave some behind. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a good idea. And, and you're right about that, too. I mean, it's every year is a continuum. It is. That's good. Um, as far as... Uh, your role. Um, I know some of the Interact programs have made it or break, broken because of the, the advisors. Mm -hmm. Some of them get too involved, become over-influential. I've had instances where I've been called you know, outside uh, in the district itself from some parents saying that, you know what, the advisors picking our leaders for us instead of giving it to them. 
How do you balance that? Well, it's been a learning process. Uh, initially, I, I felt it was me doing a lot more of the speaking. And as time went on, uh, I've uh, uh, graduated and giving the kids more and more in, uh, sure. power, a little more influence, sure. and sure. let them handle it with, with my guidance. And I'm mm -hmm. hoping that uh, it, it comes uh, across that way. Good, good. As far as leadership development, do you have any curriculum programs like that, or you kind of just fit it within? Well, I know that Rotary has in the past provided that, and I have always, uh, uh, and that's one of my goals, is trying to encourage the students possibly okay. to attend Pearls. Uh, okay, things good. of that nature good. so that they can learn those things. We have one coming up in Ventura County in a couple of months. So you do. Maybe I'll shoot that out to you. Yeah, and I'd appreciate that. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Well, let's jump into some of the pictures because uh, we, we appreciate that and these, these look good. The first picture you have uh, show, shows your group and it looks like it's at your club. It is. Uh, the ironic thing about this is what we try to do is once a year is I try to invite the kids during a, a spring break to come and have lunch with us so that the club can experience what I get to experience on a weekly uh, level. Uh, in that particular photo, the, the nice thing is is uh, that's our entire, that that is our current board. Okay. And we wow. didn't know that at the time. That's a year ago. <laughs> oh, is that right? So oh, it's, that's it's, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next picture you have is, um, looks like a, a bicycle. Right there. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that one. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, that's actually the Carpenter Triathlon. Mm -hmm. uh, we supported Rotary as well as a triathlon by handing out water to the, uh, to the bicyclists because they came storming by. <laughs> <laughs> and Maria, how did you get people motivated? Did they just automatically sign up? Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit of like engaging people. And okay. most people, um, they kind of sign up, they say, I need community service. So okay. Okay. especially in the beginning of the year, um, there's freshmen, sophomores that right, say, you know, right. I need community service. Um, so they sign up and I always, and this was on a Sunday, so I really thank them for that because I understand that Sundays are a very hard day. I know personally me, I have to go to church. So mm -hmm. um, it, for them, it was, um, it, I was really grateful for them to signing up. Well, that is, that's great. And then uh, you have another picture there. It looks like the same event happening there. Um, how many did you have out there, interactors? I want to say 12. Yeah, this year we had a wow. pretty good yeah. yeah, We it's broke pretty, up in different groups. If we did. 30, yes. you had almost half. Yeah, of yeah we did. Out there. Yeah, it was very good. Did you have to train them or was it pretty easy? They just figured out throw water at everybody. Uh, actually, it's the training involved. <laughs> I would guess that. They come, back, they come by very quickly. They do, very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Especially the lead group. <laughs> Uh, next picture shows um, beach cleanup. Your your team right there. There's four of you. Yes, uh, that was actually an example of a, of an idea a student had. Oh. Uh, it was during Earth Day, and as you can see, sometimes we don't always get. We had four students show up. Okay. Uh, it, it, I always suggest that if we can get two, then it's an event. Right, right. <laughs> well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and name off those four since uh, we'll get them to watch the show now. <laughs> your name's going to be mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Maria, So the one on the left is Liliana. Then the one next to her is Michaela. The one next to her is Sarah. She's actually our treasurer this year. Okay. And then next to her is Amanda. Great. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. <laughs> then the next picture is uh, one actually uh, doing the work itself. <laughs> doing the actual work. How, far, how much of the beach did you guys have to clean up? Uh, Actually, uh, on that particular day, we did a whole. Uh, we took a side and finished it all the way to wow. till we couldn't walk anymore. Wow! So it was it was a fun day. <laughs> That's a lot of work, though. <laughs> and when was this? Was it summertime? Uh, this was fall? actually in. Uh, this was in April of last year. April. Yes. Okay, getting ready for the uh, season then. Yeah, that's that exactly what it was. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. And that's probably a good idea since the berm's all down. You got everything taken care of. It was very point. easy to do. Uh, however. Uh, the beautiful part of Carpenter is they do have clean beaches, so we just continue to keep it that way. <laughs> Very true. Okay, great. Uh, next picture we have is uh, the Christmas tree, mm -hmm. and uh, do you guys participate in that annually? or? Uh, we have been uh, through uh, the uh, Lions Club and through the Rotary Club, who uh, we help uh, set up and decorate the tree. So the uh, Interact has been kind enough to come over the years and help us start uh, decorating, and they do such a wonderful job. Good, good. And that's the, uh, the Lions Club one in Carpinteria where they do 25, 27 trees, I think, this year, right? That's correct, yes. Uh, we, uh, we have a stuck to our tree. I've always actually hoped that we could do a fundraiser where we can help other individuals who couldn't decorate their own trees. Oh, but they seem to uh, have a good group doing it. Great yeah, idea. Do. Interact would be a perfect one for that. It one, would be also. ideal, Good, good yeah. match there. And um, those are all your Interact students there? 
Uh, quite, those, a, quite a yes, few of them. Yes, yeah, those you, were, got a, you got a lot of them there. We had a pretty good turnout. No, when you had a good tree. Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have a really good turnout. I'm oh, very fortunate. The club is very fortunate. Good, good. And then uh, the next picture shows uh, you working um, mm -hmm. at the desk. Now, tell us a little bit about that. What was that responsibility? Yeah, uh, actually, that particular one where we were uh, behind the desk and we were setting up the actual packaging. Oh, so okay. uh, just as part of the decorations, we, tried, we, we had to set up an assembly line. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, to, to load it into the tree. Exactly, then. yes. Okay, got it, yeah. got it. Then uh, the next picture we have actually shows, uh, I believe this was Avocado Fest? Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about that picture. Maria, I'll let you jump in. Okay, <laughs> this was um, actually last year. Um, we were um, helping sell tickets to um, get them to buy the scooter. So, yeah. Good. And Good. part of what we do with the with the Avocado Festival, we do try to once again just support uh, not only a rotary, but do it with a little different energy yeah. since we have a, a pretty large group of high school kids. So it's been, a, right. we're, it's just been a great event, different uh, atmosphere when the kids show up. So that was your uh, number one fundraiser then for the Avocado Fest? That was, yes, yes. Okay, so you raffled off the scooter. Mm -hmm. Any of the proceeds go towards the uh, interactive? Uh, actually, it did. In okay, fact, okay. Uh, th that's how we were able to sustain our fund over the year. Uh, so it does help out. Now, now tell us this, because uh, a lot of the audience won't know this, but financial commitment-wise, what would you guess that is for... Uh, as far as Rotary? Or, 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 rotary in the club. Yeah. Uh, as far as really de depending on the budget, you know, if we're trying in this particular case, we were trying to get T-shirts. Okay. So oh, uh, okay. they would basically give us a couple hundred dollars or depending on what, what they had available out of their general budget. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it does help. Good, good. And that's just for um, general operating? That's correct. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, now, at the meetings, do you buy their food for them? Uh, is that included? Uh, actually, as I usually uh, uh, take care of that myself. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Though <laughs> I would get some support from the club if I, it, it just, it's if, one if, of the if, things if I, need. yeah, if I need. Yeah, it's very good of you there, Richard. Yeah, it's my way of giving I'm, back. Sure, I'm sure they appreciate it. And that, that shows up. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Maria will tell you that. It definitely you know, it shows up there. Thank you. Okay. Um, Next picture we have is a picture of, must be the whole club right there. There's a lot of you. Yeah, that was last year's club. Last year's club? Yes. Okay. And last year, about 30 still? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's actually, we started off with uh, my first year that I started helping out, we had about 12 students. And it just gradually got bigger and bigger. And it's, uh, in fact, to the point now, as Maria said, that we had kids on the, on the floor. Uh, on the floor. <laughs> what was kind of neat is when you, oh, when we got to the end of the year and we were having our goodbyes, uh, it's just to still see a, a large group. Is, yeah. It's always, yeah, uh, it's always fun. Yeah. But Maria's doing a good job of trying to keep them engaged and active. So well, leadership is the number one component of a <laughs> successful club. So she's doing a great job. She sure is. Now, um, through this, uh, you also sponsor, your club does, uh, Ryla. Do most of them come from this that, group? Or? Uh, actually, we've been fortunate enough to have uh, not only the support of the uh, Rotary Club, but we've also had the Morning Club, who's assisted right. uh, with uh, taking some of our students simply because there's so many. Right. But uh, we have... Uh, uh, we have had most of my uh, our Ryder representatives come out of come out of this program at least since I've been here. Yes. Okay. Um, so how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been doing it now, I believe, since two thousand and nine. Wow. So wow. it was right after I got into Rotary that uh, now you you found your passion <laughs> here in this. Yeah, it just so happened I was That's asked, oh, and I haven't. Stopped. You got lucky, huh? You I got did, a good yeah. good program there. Now, what are your aspirations? I would say uh, now that you're president of Interact, are you planning on moving on into like Rotaract? Have you considered that? Yes, I was actually thinking about that. I knew I've always wanted to do something with community service. Um, not on, like I said, I not only do I participate in Interact in, the, in that community service, but also outside of community service, so in Santa Barbara County and just different organizations. Organiz organizations. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I was actually thinking about that and my aspirations are to either attend the College of William and, William and Mary or um, Tulane University in New Orleans. Wow. And the, thing, the great thing about Tulane is that they actually um, have, they require community service. So um, I was thinking that was just really great. And I want to study like international relations and a concentration in South America. Great, great. Well, Rodeo will get you in that direction for sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, 
What have you found as being successful in attracting new members to your club? I, I just feel that interacting itself is just attractive community service. Right. And I remember in our club rush, everyone was just like looking at clubs and all half of our clubs are sports, but um, right, right. Mm -hmm. they gave us a packet and they were like, get people to like come to your um, booth and then like sign them up. And Interact was actually the club that got the most people to sign up. So wow. we got to go to two, pa two packets. So I just think in, that in itself is just, it really attracts people. And, you know, like it says in the name, interact, you interact with people. Right. So right. not only kids on campus, but, you know, in the community. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, good. Now, um, as far as your club's concerned, how many hours does each student have to have uh, community service-wise to graduate? 60. 60. Mm -hmm. And do you include that? In other words, do you plan on having X amount of community service hours each year through your club? I or it just kind of works out that way? It actually has worked out that way. Okay. Uh, okay. Many of the students actually do a lot more community of service course. on their own as well. Yeah. Yeah. So they're over it. But I've noticed this year an uptick of the uh, re requirement sheets coming in. Oh, so okay. they're doing a, uh, we're getting, which mm -hmm. indicates we're probably getting a, a younger students. Well, uh, which, so is, which is good. It is, yeah, yes. Yeah. So. And it's a good way to do. Um, community service hours, is it something that you plan on, on this as president? Do you get to pick and choose where are you going to put those community service hours in, or do you just kind of wait for opportunities? Oh, for like me personally for the community for, service? For the club. Oh, for the club. For, for the club. Um, not really too sure. I'm not, I like, you know, mention it, like when people mm -hmm. ask me what's interacting, I say community service. Right. They never really ask me how many hours we do a year, so... Mm -hmm. It just kind of whatever they feel like. They opportunities all, yeah. are there. Then. And mm -hmm. that's pretty much what we try to do. Okay. Uh, bring up the opportunities, and especially if someone doesn't have any. Uh, as I pointed out, many of them already do. Mm -hmm. So uh, it'll just be layered depending on if they need to fill a few hours uh, uh, here and there. And the school has requirements, so right. we have to uh, 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 stay with the guidelines with that as far as what, they, what those hours can actually be. Right, right. Now, um, also on sports and athletics, I'm assuming that maybe half the club is athletes or mm -hmm. athletes uh, and the other half are more specific to community service. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's our school. Exactly, <laughs> it exactly. Definitely is represented, yeah. Okay, um, what do you do um, as far as sports-wise to catch up on time? Because I know, it, you know, some it's either or. You can't do both because you're committed to mm -hmm. a sport or you're committed to a community service. How, how do you balance it or how do other people, your friends balance that? Um, I've always kind of like, for me personally, I've been fortunate enough to have coaches that actually really understand when That's I good. have to go to an event and I say, you know, I'm last year, I would say, you know, I'm vice president. I'm kind of expected to be there right. and um, I'm going to be there. And they'll be like, yeah, definitely. I understand that student before athlete. That's why. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, that is great. That is good. Very understanding. It goes with the school, too, and, and with your advisors. That makes a big difference because it's a hard one. I've uh, seen some of the other schools where it's either or. You don't get to do both. Mm -hmm. they, they just don't give you that choice. Mm -hmm. um, that is great. I'm going to put you a little bit on the spot. Tell us what you know about Rotary. Do you understand? Have you been involved or influenced in seeing what Rotary actually does? Well, I've, um, when Richard was um, talking about the one of the pictures where we were at one of the lunches, I've actually gone to all three for okay. all the time I've been here. Okay. So I'm fortunate or hoping that um, I will be able to go to the fourth one, um, second semester. But sure. Rotary, I feel it's just a club or like a mm -hmm. group of adults, you know, business owners mostly. And they kind of, their mission is to help the community and help the um, other businesses as well, so. Do you see that as something you'll be doing in the future? Hopefully. <laughs> okay, okay. Good answer. Good answer. Mm -hmm. uh, as, we, as we move forward then, how do the two of you try and mentor in or find the next leaders and get, make sure that they're ready for that next step as you as president? Have you thought about that? Um, not really, actually. Um, I mean, Richard does a great job you know, looking at people, because I remember um, I actually went to Rila my sophomore year. Okay. So um, I was fortunate to go with the morning rotary. So I remember after Rila, he told me, like, you should really consider coming for, <laughs> running for a position. And I said, 
that was never on my mind. And I said, oh, no, no. And I was thinking, oh, I'll get, like, secretary or treasurer. And they're putting it on the board, like, who wants, like, secretary position. Um, like, this person did it and all that stuff. And then I, I kind of missed treasurer and secretary, so I guess <laughs> vice president will do. <laughs> good, good. So, yeah. And how about you? Do you, do you have a uh, idea or a vision or a plan that, or it just happened? As far as for uh, uh, getting your leadership development um, and ready I, to go. I, I, I basically, I have the, I ask the, usually the students to consider it. Okay. I hand out a sheet what the responsibilities good. are, uh, and I encourage all. Uh, Ryla has helped, uh, so we've been very fortunate with that. Uh, and, I, and that's one of the reasons why I encourage them to apply even for that or for good. that event. Good, good. That is one thing, I, by the way, I have seen um, district-wide. Mm -hmm. Those um, internet clubs that have failed, have failed because there was no continuum. Uh, in other words, they didn't have that leadership put in place. The idea of having it written out, huge, huge difference. Because I have seen politics get involved if you don't have that in place. And unfortunately, it ruined any club. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? How much longer do you figure you're going to be doing this for? Uh, you know, it's it's been a I've I've been blessed to have uh, the enthusiasm of the kids. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'll I'll keep doing it as long as I can, as long as I feel that I'm contributing to the club. Like anything else, sure. the, it could get stale. And I, if if they feel that way, or if I feel that way, I I want it to be about them uh, and and their vision. Now, do you have anybody you're mentoring out from the club that's going to follow you? I don't. Or po potentially? I okay. don't. In fact, last year when I was club president uh, of the Rotary Club, I actually, I was still the advisor Doing both. Well. I do remember yeah, that. So, uh, <laughs> you're a busy guy. I, and I wanted to. I, I, I didn't feel like that's a big uh, difference. it was time to step down. But uh -huh. uh, I, I'll reevaluate it this year. I'll ask Maria to <laughs> well, get her one, opinion. One, one thing great about having an Interact Club is that you share that experience with the club and that's one of the hard parts you do if you're a one-man show absolutely uh, yeah that and i could see others getting involved with it just just loving it because it's a great program it is Very that's good. one of the benefits of bringing them to lunch <laughs> is i want them to experience it with the club yeah exactly well, both of you, thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate your time, and uh, congratulations to you, not only president, but uh, everything else you're doing. <laughs> Outstanding. You're setting a great example for everybody. Yeah, and you. Richard, uh, again, thank you very much for what you do. Uh, high school wouldn't be the same without you, definitely yeah. so, and nor would that program. That's setting well, up you. a lot of nice and great leaders. For I appreciate future. that. I hope so. Okay. And with that, everybody, thank you very much for joining us. Take a look at Interact. Uh, see if your high school has one. Have, uh, have people get involved with it because that is one area where we as Rotarians can make a difference in the world. With that, thank you very much and we'll see you next time. <laughs>